Hey guys, it's Green Zero here with another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. We are back on the map Tournament Odyssey here for another 1v1 game here for you today. I hope you're enjoying the games. Please send me replays because I have to go back quite far to find good ones. But nonetheless, we will be casting another game here for you today. On the top right hand side playing as the Zocom Force, it's going to be Doom Tiger who can't seem to stay off my channel recently. He's been in like four of the last five videos or three of the last four or whatever. He is Zocom and the one and only Drive Russian on the left hand side. Drive Russian, the Russian to beat, the Russian champion who's gotten extremely good in recent times. He'll be playing as Nod Vanilla. And we are on, of course, Tournament Odyssey, everyone's favorite technique map. Uh, no base pushing here, or it's extremely difficult to base push here, which is going to be okay for Doom, since uh, Zocom don't have artillery. Unless you want to count Firehawk as artillery, which they kind of are, because they're incredibly difficult to shoot down, and uh, they have uh, they can obviously drop buildings like there's no tomorrow. But nonetheless, we'll have to see how this game goes. I'm expending a lot of fast attack units. Doom Tiger will dispatch that squad. Nicely done. Drive does head around the bottom side. This is a random mirror, by the way. Neither side knew what they're up against. Stepping on the tip field, never good for your health, Doom Pooms. Uh, does he have a Raider Buggy out? I think we've got a Harvester coming out, but there is already a Raider Buggy out here, and Doom Tiger will lose his squad up there. I find that... Uh, uh, getting getting back into the game, I really need to concentrate a little more on the, the scouting situation. We have two militants and two rifles. I think he's going to lose this engagement here. He does drop that, and he's going to drop the other squad as well. That's interesting. The Raider Buggy is busy picking at that uh, pit bull. Doom Tiger will come out ahead. He's going to try to dig a foxhole. I don't think he has enough health left to withstand the damage coming out from the buggy. It's going to be tight. Oh, that is tight, but he gets in there. And drive, chewing some donuts in frustration there. We'll try to go back for that pit bull, but he's already pretty badly damaged. I mean, he's not be able to destroy that pit bull, I don't believe. And I think Doom Tiger is going to sit here and just peg him. Um, yeah, he's going to he's going to back off now, realizing that's not the way to go. Uh, but Doom Tiger does have a scout in here, but yeah, jumping back to scouting, I, I do find that um, being hardcore anti-scouted recently, I need to put more effort into the scouting task because if you can see what the other guy is doing, you feel a lot safer. And you can see if anything's coming, you know what to do, you know if you can eco, you know if you can do this and that. And if they can't see what you're doing, they'll have to make assumptions and their build may be thrown off or they may do things that they might not necessarily need to be doing. That will set them back later on. Uh, Militant Squad is here, going to come along and see that there will just be an ecoing Dune Tiger here. He's going to clean up that scout, not wanting that in his base. That will be destroyed. See you later. Dune Tiger taking a swing at that power plant. That'll take him quite some time to destroy I believe the Raider Buggy was over here, just checking to make sure that ref did come down from Dune Tiger and there's no pit bulls coming out. It's pretty hard for Zocom to do early aggression in this game, uh, just because uh, their, their aircraft, I mean their Orcas of course are extremely expensive and they're, you know, they tend to miss a lot as well. They're very powerful if they hit, but uh, that's tend to why you don't see them rush. Probably the worst rushing faction in the game, they had the least amount of rushes and not very powerful ones at that. Probably said that before as well. But Zocom definitely make up for it. I mean, they're basically, at the start of the game, excluding Orcas, they're just a better version of GDI. They have better infantry, they have better aircraft. Um, they still, they have the best Marv in the game, probably one of the best epic units uh, you can get because it's just so powerful with those Zone Raiders. Uh, but yeah, they do, of course, forgo a very big thing, and that is the Juggernauts. They do not get, or they do not get them at all. And uh, they don't have railguns either, which means they do get mammoth tanks, but they're just left with the regular cannons, so they're really lacking when it comes to the ground armor, which is why their Marv is so uh, demonstrously powerful, I guess, and their aircraft is all well. hammerheads, of course. Their hammerheads are notoriously difficult to destroy, um, except for when CGF nerfed the crap out of them without putting that in the patch notes, so hopefully he fixes that. But we have a la laser turret down here, because why the hell not? Uh, people have been building these every now and then, just to supplement... Um, the ground attack here. He's going to go in. Dune Tiger has some APCs and some pit bulls. Unfortunately, the uh, pit bulls were not quite in range. One APC is picked off straight away. He's going to be pushing in here. Drive, I believe, as a scout up there. He does have a scout. Battle markers raging on the right hand side as well. I believe it's just scouts as well. But he's going to go in here and drive Russian. Unfortunately, has underestimated this attack. He doesn't have enough forces. He's losing harvesters. Oh my god. Dune Tiger just goes in and snipes two of them down straight away. He's going to lose some forces for this. He will be backing off now. Tech Center, that's why. Drive doesn't have 
a lot of units because he went for a fast tech. Dune Tiger actually going to take a swing at that power plant. Almost got it. One more volley. I mean, these power plants, you got to remember, they have, if they have the Tib upgrade, they hold a lot of power. And if you can drop them, it's just really annoying, especially if he's building something else like a Ref or, or something like that, or a Tier 3, or a Tier 3 War Factory. That obviously you know, causes big issues. Do you cancel it and go for more power or do you power micro? But Dune Tiger has a tech center out as well. What is he planning to do with that? No upgrades are on the cards. Infantry there, just defending that out. Tib Chem Plant, get ready for it. There it is. Okay, boom, one ref down. Does he have another ref on the way? He's queuing one, I believe this is going to be a ref. Not sure what he's doing with the tech center, though. He dropped the tech center, but he's not actually, unless this is a reclamator hub coming down. But yeah, you've got to remember, if you, if you invest in that tech and then you just don't use it straight away, you really got to question, you know, should you have just built more eco or more units? If because you're going to drop four grand into a tech and then not use it for another minute or two, it's really just money that you kind of could have spent on something else like getting more economy up. And he will drop another uh, refinery, but unfortunately drops it right to this flame tank. Oh man, that's got to be frustrating. So drive, uh, not microing though. He will target the tower there. That buys him a little bit of time. Not going to matter. He puts down a double. Oh, he's got two MCVs. He's got, an, I was going to say two silos. What's going on down here? Uh, that black end shouldn't really be losing to the uh, Rathman squad, and they will not. Uh, but yeah, he has double. And this stealth tank's coming out. Drive is just going to play this very nasty gameplay. He's got to watch out these harvesters. They may overlap as well, so he's going to want to be careful about that. Sells off the wharf, actually, because he needs some money, because, you know, when you go to MCV, you need money to support that. A second stealth tank will join the party. With two stealth tanks, you can now one-shot a harvester. And that's exactly... All these predator tanks have changed position. He doesn't know they're there. But uh, he's changed position nonetheless. He has got a Reclamator hub down here. Might have want to put it over here. A bit more defensive than he can just Marvis as soon as he comes out. Because that's the goal. Does find an angle. Tibcore is done. Pops a Harvester straight away. Almost going to get a second one. Doontag will pull that back though. He pulls it back. He gets shots off. He's being shot at. That All that, that Stealth Tank is down. He kills the Stealth Tank. Loses one Harvester. That Harvester is very, very low. These Predator Tanks need to stick very close there because the... The, uh, what do you call it, stealth tanks. Don't really want to deal with predator tanks. It's not something they really want to deal with. A lot of APCs here because when you're a Zocom, you know, no railguns means predator tanks lose their value as the game goes on. So APCs, of course, can kill infantry and they kill aircraft. They're a very good supporting unit for a Marv. Redeemer is out. It's going to make its way to the north, but there's really nothing there. I mean, Dune Tiger, of course, has nothing to defend that, but I mean, you got to remember, with two MCVs and the fact that he's going to be expanding down here with a Marv, I think that Redeemer's going to have to turn around pretty quickly because if Dune Tiger launches an attack on this base, he's going to be under a lot of pressure and he's going to sell that. Is he going to expand? I think he's going to put a ref down because he's brought harvesters. You know, he's brought harvesters with him. Drive is still beelining to that base and... As soon as Dune Tiger notices that, unfortunately, those, those people are going to miss it. But as soon as they notice that, because you've got to remember, he's almost harvested this field. Yes, his tech center is there, which is a pain in the ass. But um, he can double Sonic drop him. Uh, he can just keep... He's got two Sonics. You can see he's already queuing them up. Um, he does have a tier four. And there we go. So, oh my god, he's going to lose his tier four almost immediately. Oh, he sees it. He drops a Sonic emitter to try to save it. But, of course, that stealth tank... Not going to work. Vertigo Bombers, that's really annoying. It gets shot down straight away because there were APCs there, though. So that's a boon. The uh, Redeemer is here. There are some scattered forces. A Shockwave comes down, and he can continue to fire at that. The Sonic Emitter did not get hit, which means it's going to be able to keep going. He did EMP his tech center, but it looks like he can still produce... Um, oh, more units going down there to stealth tanks. Vertigo Bombers coming in. Had to sell the tier four. Oh, he gets two more of them. Will he get that on the way out? Now, unfortunately, the APCs didn't maneuver around there. Uh, we have the Redeemer running through here. He's going to be destroyed. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to take out this base, which is a real pain. Rachin isn't really going to do a lot because, I mean, there's hardly any units here. He's going to try to go for the tech center, but he's... Oh, he's going to get it. Oh, my God, he got the tech center. That was real. I didn't think he'd get that. But he's got it. The Marv is down here. The tier four is gone, which means... I mean, he used the Shockwave, which is what he wanted for anyway, because let's face it, the other support powers you get from it, the Orbital Strike, if you got money for it, if you're attacking a your base head, yeah, it's good, but that's the only thing it's good for. The Supersonic Airstrike is very situational, uh, and the um, Zone Trooper Drop Pod, I mean, yeah, it, again, situational. None of the other three are that fantastic. They had their uses, don't get me wrong, they are good, and they're, they're what support powers should be, unlike some of the other factions where they just get things that uh, just click to win, click here for victory, um, no skill required. It's going to expand again, but Drive has a expansion point captured. 
So he's got plans here. Dune had to marvel some of the field. He's going to go for his aircraft, I believe. Firehawks. Right he got ceramic armor first. Uh, fortunately, these Vertigo Bombers are just going to go around those. So Dune Tiger really should have put the APCs back here because the Vertigo Bombers can just, again, fly around. They know. I think they're going to sit and wait for the harvesters. Unfortunately, that harvest is actually going the long way home. Um, force firing the tower because Drive actually has captured that. So he's going to be able to destroy that pretty easily. Avatar is up here, so I think Dune is going to be aware. No upgrades on the infantry. We have stealth tanks here as well. Dune Tiger trying to put down these towers, of course. Unfortunately, with AP ammo, I mean, they're just not, not going to get through those stealth tanks quick enough. They're just going to tank that damage and they're going to get out of here. He knows there's a base here now, but again, Dune Tiger, really hardcore struggling for money. Those vertical bombers take them. Oh, they take a dangerous way out of town. We can see damage here. Probably a dead harvester as well, but... Again, you can't really hemorrhage Vertigo Bombers. They are a very expensive unit. They're extremely good uh, in, in this game, but you've got you to use them correctly, and you can't go throwing them away unless like, you absolutely have to uh, for certain uh, situations. Pitbulls are going to come in here, and they're actually going to find this harvest. They'll be able to destroy that. There's some rocket squads standing in the tip field. They do not have tip field suits, but this avatar is actually quite low on health now, so he might actually be able to just to pop that with the rockets that he has here. Even the Pitbulls could have just joined in, and these shredder turrets, unfortunately, aren't doing anything. What's happening over there? Rifleman squads are just moving into that base. The avatar is destroyed, and unfortunately, shredder turrets aren't going to do anything to these Pitbulls. He's going to be able to destroy the rest of these harvesters. Drive is in a lot of trouble. Drive, of course, also struggling for money in this game now because both sides went for this really hardcore tech play and they essentially crippled each other with it. Although Drive just never bothered to expand, really. That's why he's out of money. And unfortunately, he's just losing these... Oh, zone heads have now rocked up. There's only one pit bull left. So they actually are getting slowly splashed down by the sheer amount of... There's so many shredder turrets there. He was able to splash them down. Unfortunately, he wants to kill that stealth tank pretty quickly. He will pop it, but unfortunately, he lost one of his hammerheads. Having to put down a guardian cannon, that's never good. That is never good. Guardian cannon is down. He's trying to take out the refinery because this will remove the build radius from drive. With only one uh, MCV, it means he can't put down obelisk and... Uh, and double A at the same time. He needs to take out the expansion point. The thing is, does Dune realize? He realizes that he has the expansion point now. And if he takes that down, there's no build radius here. There's no build radius. He's going to take out the Sam turret. There is a stealth tank there, which will probably be able to help finish these guys off. Yeah, unfortunately, those own heads are down. But you know what? The damage is done because with no build radius, he cannot put down any more base defenses. There's one stealth tank here. The, oh, jeez. That is a very dangerous... Oh, Spectre Artillery. Hello. Where did they come from? One, two, three, four, five Spectre Artillery now firing on the MCV. It's taking critical damage. The tech center, that was a, a disastrous place to put the tech center down. That was absolutely catastrophic. He sells it all up. He puts down one sort of computer. Can he get those Spectre Artillery? Yes, no, he gets, he gets one. Just one Spectre Artillery was destroyed. Another Redeemer is here now. Stealth Tanks, unfortunately, being destroyed by the remnants of uh, Dune Tiger's forces. Does he have the tower? He does have the tower, and even an extra Engineer, because why the hell not? You know, oh, he gets fired at. Oh, my God, he didn't have his stealth back then because he just fired. Meanwhile, APCs are destroying the power grid of Drive. That will cause him all sorts of trouble. Again, there's no build radius up here. He can't build anything up there, which means this is his only build area. The Marv, where is the Marv? It's marvelous at that field, but I don't know where it's gone. Where the hell is the Marv? Did he lose that? We just not see that? I don't know where the Marv is. There's the Marv. I was going to say, if it just vanished on us, there's no way uh, Drive destroyed that. Battle mark is over here. It's just infantry on Tiberium. No Vertigo Bombers. I think the Vertigo Bombers have been completely dispatched. Yeah, they're all gone. Uh, they are history. So he doesn't have to worry about those anymore. And the Marv is here, which means it's MCV. Oh my god, does he have a war factory? He doesn't have a war factory. He needs to put one down. Oh, this better be a war factory that he's queuing. Otherwise, he's out of the game. It better be a war factory. The Marv now going to start firing that. He's going to place that structure down. The structure is placed down. It's a crane. There we go. So he saves himself at the last second. He's got a base defense cube, but you know, if it's an obelisk, I'm not sure what it's really going to do. There's way too many forces here for an obelisk to deal with. He needs a, a significant defense here. Drops the MCV. Going to be able to drop that. Now, just remember, with the crane, he'll have to build a war factory, then he'll have to deploy an MCV, then he'll be able to move to the top. So at the moment, he's long-range mining, has to power micro because he doesn't have a power grid either. He doesn't have the upgrade for these power plants because he doesn't have a tier two. And he's actually building units instead of going for an MCV. There's a bike here, but you know, that's, that's going to die. So Dune Tiger, th this is a really, really messy game. Both sides just don't have enough forces here they've been spending most of their time rebuilding their infrastructure so we haven't seen a large army come out 
and June Tiger is going to lose this base head. This is important because look at all the power that's here. Oh god, that's just going to be more money. He's going to have to respend. The tier two is here as well, so that's going to go down. Uh, probably time to just sell this. He's just going to lose it now. So if you're going to lose structures, unless you want to buy time or you need them to finish another building, um, just sell them at that point because you know they're going to die. You might as well get money. Drive trying to rebuild himself here. He can actually build vertigos if he wants to. He's got a he's got an air tower. Maybe that's for a minefield zone. Uh, Tiberian field suits is done here for Dune Tiger, and the Marv is making a move, and it does have a fair bit here, there's the, oh, it doesn't land, he gets shot down, that was definitely a minefield coming out for these forces, and he's got a lot of raider buggies here, but once the Marv rocks up, that's actually EMP coils done, so he has the ability to disable the Marv if he likes, this power plant is going to die, and just remember, he does have quite a few Spectre artillery remaining, which means if he locks down the Marv, those Spectres will be able to land their shots, and that's where they're going to start to do a lot of damage. Spectres have the longest range in the game, they have the it's stupid range, it's stupidly large, but of course, since they're shot lobs, um, it, it takes, uh, it, it's not very good at hitting moving targets, but he will lock down the Marv now. You've got to remember when you do this with EMP buggies, you will destroy a lot of your own buggies with the splash that comes down from the, um, what should we call it, the Spectres. He does power back up. There was an attack on the top side where the air tower was destroyed as well, but he's just moving in. I think Drive might be finished. He can't just, he can't deal with the Marv. How's he supposed to deal with that? He's got uh, more EMP buggies coming out, but the, the predominantly all gone. He gets an EMP off. That's amazing, by the way. The Spectre artillery, I believe, have all been destroyed. I wasn't paying attention there. I, I believe they're pretty much all gone, and Drive Russian is now going to be cornered and destroyed in this game. This is getting messy. The Redeemer should come back and help save this. Although, what's happening over here? The Redeemer is over here, but you know what? Drive cannot run from this situation because he does not have an MCV. If June Tiger just moves in and destroys these buildings, he'll be right as rain. Needs to make sure those Raider Buggies don't get into EMP range. He will get an EMP off. The Rocket Squad's instantly targeted, so he needs to make sure he targets these. There's quite a few Militant Squads out. He needs to target that EMP Buggy. EMP Buggy's coming in. They're continuing to lock down the Marv. Rifleman Squads have rocked up, and that'll be able to get rolled. Dude, what are you doing? Shoot, the, shoot them. Oh, my God. He finally shoots them. Not before he loses quite a few Rocket Squads. The Rocket Squads with his suits on, I mean, these Militants, their bullets just bounce off them, so he's going to need quite a lot to destroy them. Chaining the EMP, chaining the Marv with EMP, which Really, really is just buying drive time because he can't really destroy it at the moment he's going to try to destroy that war factory and that's one less structure that he has his whole base is gone where's the mcb the mcb is here is the redeem oh he needs to move he needs to move oh my god he's going to get caught there um he needs to hurry up and destroy drive structures these these are not oh no he's got a power plant up there that could be uh, important he needs to move the mcb because the redeemer is coming he must know that's there he just lost his whole base to it oh my god if he loses this game because he doesn't deal with that redeemer I'm going to be incredible. It's not moving. He has flame on the Redeemer. He could just destroy this building, although he does have... He's got an outpost up there, which he just sold, which uh, is a bit hectic. He uh, Drive has no money. He's out of money. He's got two spy, but at the moment, he's going to lose the last of his production structures. They are all going to be destroyed. Yes, the MCV will be destroyed. He drops one last structure, which is a crane. Oh my god, Dune Tiger holding on for dear life here now. But you know what? Once he destroys these structures and he realizes that Drive isn't dead, he's moving to the top already. I think he realizes, yeah, he's already moving to the north with these build with these structures here. He's going to be able to destroy that Raider buggy, I believe. As soon as it comes out, yeah, he will just instantly pop that. And now he's going to drop that War Factory. That done where's the redeemer the redeemer is going back drive thinks there's still a building over here oh no but the buildings are actually located here uh, a few harvesters just sitting idly there he just rallied them up there that's uh forgivable of course given given what's happening and he's found the last building and that's it drive russian is out of this game what a gnarly game that was that was a pretty crazy game right now but as soon as that goes down drive russian has been defeated and Dune Tiger will come through with a really awkward victory. That was a really awkward game to watch. That actually went for almost 20 minutes as well. 19 minutes, 15 seconds. Um, kill death ratio. Whoa, look at that. It is split down the middle. 0 0.97, 0 0.95. Uh, Dune Tiger got more money. 171,000 to drives 145. Drive never got a third field, essentially. He never was able to expand to a third field and actually harvest it because... Dune Tiger disrupted that. It all came down to the fact that Dune Tiger was able to uh, destroy the build radius at the top base. If he didn't do that, then Drive could have harvested there and it would have been a different story, but he was able to do that, which cut Drive off. 
Uh, you can see here he cut drive off and drive was still able to leech and things like that, but it was pretty minimal. And then, of course, Doon Tiger joined the party, losing his bases to the Redeemer. But the Redeemer not being at the main fight was really what mattered. I mean, at the end of the day, in a situation like that, it's going to come down to the two armies because, I mean, Doon Tiger could have moved his MCV around. I don't know why he left it there to die. That was silly. But at the end of the day, you normally have your MCV, so it would come down to the two armies fighting. And if the Redeemer's not there and you lose your whole army because the Redeemer wasn't there, it wouldn't have made sense, so... Nonetheless, uh, Doom Tiger will win that game. That was a really good game. My name is Green Zero. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my uh, video, or sorry, my channel, and I'll see you all in the next spot.